welcome back to my channel where every Wednesday night I do a video on Saint Beauty. I have been with Saint almost three years. I've been on YouTube with Saint two and a half years. You can always watch my education. I've literally done one Saint video for two and a half years now. But if you don't know, we are the Look Good Close Up Club because we, we just deemed ourselves that. We like to look good close up. You, you will not learn social media makeup here. I teach you how to look good really close up to your family, friends, and even strangers because when you look like you just have good skin, people will just think you have a great skincare regimen or you have a weekly facial and they won't necessarily see the makeup. And that's what I want for us as we get older. I'm also um, a 30 year pro makeup artist. I have been in Hollywood since 2003, even though I no longer live in Hollywood, you can work all over the country once you're in the union. And I'm the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass, a series of 23 videos on mature technique. I would say probably starting at around 35, 36 years old when you start seeing changes in your skin and your face. My friends in their 40s are now really suddenly noticing it and I remember being that age. Um, I think the big, big changes happen at uh, menopause when your estrogen drops and that is not fun because estrogen is your pretty hormone so hang on to it i know you hate having a period but the longer you have it that means you have estrogen which is holding up all the scaffolding of your face and still pretty much promoting collagen um anyway we'll talk about all that another time okay one of our members morita morita edwards she has been in our Look Good Close Up Club from the very beginning. Morita has always been here. You guys have seen her in comments. She's lovely. She has great advice. She also has been a saint artist for a very, very long time. And of course, we're changing business models on October 1st. We're no longer uh, MLM, AKA multi-level marketing. There will no longer be big teams under anyone. We will now only be selling retail as affiliates, just like I do with Ulta Beauty or Shop My Shelf or Sonia Roselli Skincare. Same, really, I've been an affiliate with Saint for two and a half years anyway, but um, we're changing business models. And so I don't know if Marita is going to stay an artist or not, but I've always loved having her here in the community. She's a fellow Tennessean. She reached out to me the other night and she told me of a new technique that she's used. And I'm going to do it for you today. We're going to call it the Marita Method nothing I claim to, to have thought of on my own. I have before told people to use setting spray before makeup and after makeup if you have trouble keeping makeup on. But um, Marita tested it out. She needed a makeup to last eight plus hours and she said it held up beautifully. And I trust her. I trust Marita. Once you're in this community, you start to really learn people and you start to trust what they say. So I trust her. And then I said, did you see any other saint artists doing this or teaching this? She said, no, I, I had a big event to go to. I needed the makeup to last a really long time. This is a method I came up with on my own. I said, okay, because I never want to you know, take anyone's content and pretend like it's my own. I see that happen a lot at Saint. Um, people acting like their tip is their tip and it's they've stolen it from so many people. And that's just social media. I'm not blaming saint artists. I'm just, just social media. Everyone steals everyone's content. Um, drives me nuts, you know, because this is stuff that I've learned over the course of 30 years doing all ages, all ethnicities, men and women in my makeup chair. And then people can just take your education and act like it's their tip for their audience and never give the original person credit. That's why anytime I talk about priming a brush, like if you see me really getting foundation or concealer into the brush and priming the brush and then putting it on lightly, makeup lightly, I always credit Katie Jane Hughes because I'd never heard of priming the brush in 30 years of makeup. So when I say I'm gonna prime the brush, I always say Katie Jane Hughes because she is the creator of that technique. And I think you give credit where credit's due and I don't see that um, 
I don't see that. That's all I'm going to say there. Okay, so Marita said that she put on her makeup and she really let it set. Okay, now let me say there was an important um, part of her instructions and I didn't want to um, I didn't want to get it wrong. Okay, so she said she put on all her skincare and then she let it really absorb in. So she gave it five, 10 minutes for her skincare to really absorb in. Then she put on her primer and immediately put on a setting spray. I put my primer on right before I started filming. So maybe it's been on five minutes and I'm not going out today, but I did choose a primer with an SPF 50 in it. So if you're going out in the daytime, you have to have an SPF. So I would do all my skincare, let it absorb, wait a couple minutes, do your SPF, whatever that is, do your SPF, give that a couple minutes to set, and then do your primer, and then you're gonna go in with this, okay? So I put this on probably under five minutes ago, and now I'm gonna do a setting spray. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury. Look how cute this is the travel size. I love travel size. I'm going to be taking this to Atlanta. Now one thing I say a lot here and I'm going to tell you again now, most women do not use enough setting spray. They do like one little or maybe like a couple little, but you have to really mist your face well. Your face should feel lightly damp. I don't want to see it dripping because you don't want to disrupt anything underneath it, but you really, like this still feels wet right here. So I probably got it a little heavier right here. This side feels a little more dry. Of course, my hair feels wet because that means I got it in my hair. Okay. I always keep my fan. Okay. Now through the middle, because you know, anywhere we have pores, it can like suck up our makeup, right? So this is where I'm gonna go a little bit heavier through the center of the face. I just did two stripes. See how wet that is? Or damp, it's not dripping. Now I'm gonna come back tonight and with the exception of lips, because I'm not gonna touch my lips, but we're gonna see how this holds up. Now, it's hot out today in Nashville. I'm gonna take my dog for a walk in a little bit because I want to be out in the elements so we know how this holds up, okay? Look, I switched to iced tea. If you don't know, I have a Diet Dr. Pepper um, addiction, so I'm trying to get off of it. Not forever, but okay. One thing I wanted to show you too is a few weeks ago, I did a video on why I've switched to Demi hair color. I'm not using permanent hair color ever again. I'm using Demi, and I found out through a gal named Rachel. I am a hairdresser on TikTok. She's also on Instagram. She gives excellent education for brunettes. And I reached out to her and I said, I'm not a brunette, I'm a blonde. I recently went copper. I hate the line of demarcation. Your Demi method makes a lot of sense. And so I did a Zoom with her and you can see like my gray is growing in, but do you see how there's not like a line of demarcation? Do you see how softly the Demi grows in? Now you can see it a little bit more right here because I'm definitely more silver around the face. Look, this side's not as silver, but I get, I have a big patch here. I get a little bit of silver right here at the temples and then everywhere else it's just peppered. It's like, I don't really have that much gray, but do you see how soft that is? The last time I did my roots, it was probably five weeks ago. Five weeks ago, look at that. So it needs to be done, but I don't want to do it till the weekend because, you know, I have the big saint conference next week in Atlanta. I'll try to do as much content while I'm there so you can see, you know, what's going on and all the glamour. It's going to be very glamorous and I'm really excited to go. So, okay, my, my skin is fully dry and it is time to start makeup. 
Okay, I just reread um, Morita's um, text again because I wanted to make sure I'm doing everything right. She had an important function to go to where she was not going to be able to touch up. We've all been to stuff like that, right? You just, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to touch up um, your makeup for whatever reason. And she kept thinking to herself, I need my makeup bulletproof. That's the exact word she used, bulletproof. And so that's why she said, I think if I lock in my skincare, my makeup will stay in place. It's interesting, isn't it? I I, I tend to think that this is gonna go really well. Um, I have no reason to think otherwise, but I am gonna come back at the end of the day for a wear test because um, because I want to see how it holds up. And I, I'm gonna take Tate on a walk. And I'm gonna try to keep it on about seven, eight hours. I'm starting this video a little later than I wanted, but I'm gonna try to keep it on seven or eight hours. Then I've gotta edit this video and get it up Wednesday night. Here's the problem. So my friend Alicia from Ma Beauty, Alicia's kind of one of the reasons I moved to Nashville. Um, you know, Ma Beauty is like my family. I love them so much. I love them just as much as I love Saint. It's just a different type of, um, it's just a different type of makeup. And Alicia is my good friend. I love her dearly. And she said, she knows I've been really stressed lately. I'll get into all that another time, but I've been really, really stressed lately. And she said, you know what? Would you like to come to a sound bath with me? And um, I know that's like very new age type stuff. And all of you know, I'm a woman of faith. I don't do all the new age stuff, but I didn't think there was anything wrong at all with laying there while beautiful like bowls and gongs and pretty music is playing and you lay there for an hour and you, your body is just like absorbed with like all of these like sound waves and I thought that I need that I need to I need to lower the stress I need to decompress so I said thank you so much I would love to join you so we are gonna go, where's my sponge? We are gonna go meet tomorrow morning in Nashville. And it has something to do with Reese Witherspoon. It's like a secret society woman's club in Nashville. Alicia was invited to it. It's invite only and she's allowed to bring a guest. So I don't think I'm gonna see Reese Witherspoon. I really doubt it, but I do know that this is Reese Witherspoon's group. And so right there, that's pretty cool, right? I like Reese Witherspoon. I think she's a great little actress. I think she's beautiful. Anyway, so I'm just doing candlelit on my whole face. Can you tell? This is just candlelit on my whole face. So anyway, um, so then we're gonna grab lunch. Then the craziest thing happened. My friend, Ashley, many of you know Ashley. I'd, I've done her makeup here on um, YouTube using Saint. She's in her 40s. She's a longtime TV and film makeup artist. We met in the Charlotte film industry. Charlotte used to have a pretty strong TV and film industry. In fact, um, when I first moved to Charlotte, Homeland was filming there. It was a big, big deal. Uh, we also had Sleepy Hollow and um, quite a few different films. I've worked on Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret in Charlotte. I worked on a really sweet movie called Max uh, about a military dog with Lauren Graham. Um, what else have I worked on? I don't know. I've just worked on lots of TV and film. In Wilmington, I worked on The Summer I Turned Pretty, season one and two. Um, I never got to work on Outer Banks, unfortunately. I worked on um, Our Kind of People, which was a, a really beautiful show on Fox. It, I don't know, it didn't do well, didn't get picked up. Anyway, you get, you get it. So let me do my brows and be back, hold on. Okay, sorry, I... I just hate doing brows on camera unless I'm actually doing a brow video that I'm happy 
to show you how I do my brows. And you know, we could always do, I have actually a really cool new product for brows on the way. So when I get that in my possession, I will show you how to use it because it's kind of unlike any brow product I've seen on the market. My brows aren't great, so let's not like pay too much attention to them. Um, okay, so where are we? Okay, so you get it. I've done a lot of TV and film in, where is my Demi palette? Where is my Demi palette? Oh dear. Can't do makeup without my Demi palette. Oh, I threw it in my purse. I went to Bible study last night and I don't touch up my makeup, but I did stop at Chick-fil-A um, to have a light dinner before I went to Bible study. And I threw this in my purse to touch up my lips. Turns out I didn't even need to, they looked, they looked fine. But I am gonna use a little bit of Y01 for the redness. I hear Tate tearing something up in the next room. And I don't have time to deal with it. Okay, so you get it. I worked in TV and film. Ashley's one of my dear friends. So there is the coolest film coming to Charlotte and Ashley got department head, which is a big deal. So that means she's not only running the whole makeup and hair department, but well, actually she runs the makeup department. She doesn't run the hair department, um, but she's also the personal to Sydney Sweeney. Sydney Sweeney, it is a, it's a film about Christy Martin, the first like female boxer, like the mainstream, there's always been lots of female boxers, but she was the first mainstream female boxer. I can't remember the era, might've been the nineties. Uh, Don King, remember big poofy hair, Don King? Don King was her um, promoter, her manager and promoter. Anyway, so Ashley's gonna be doing Sydney Sweeney's makeup and Ashley's also going to be doing Ben Foster. I don't know if you know who Ben Foster is. Look him up on Google. He is a phenomenal actor. He's one of those actors who he never really is a leading man, but when whatever role he plays, like maybe he's third, fourth, fifth, or sixth on a cast list, but he is always phenomenal, like phenomenal. You know what I forgot to do? <laughs> Oops. I forgot to do totally forgot to do this so am I doing it on top does that make any sense not really not really oh yeah he's tearing something up in there I can hear it on it okay so here's what's gonna happen tomorrow um Ashley has asked me to go and meet and by the time you watch this I will have already accomplished it but apparently Ben Foster is here in Nashville. I don't know if he lives here or if he's here maybe finishing a movie or maybe he has a second home here. But what I do know is tomorrow he has a dental appointment in Nashville for fake veneers for this film. Cause you know, he's got to look like a character. I think he might be Christy Martin's, um, husband in the film. So she's going to do Chris uh she's going to do Sydney Sweeney and Ben Foster and then run the whole makeup makeup department, okay? So he wears a beard. So not only is he going to get fitted for fake veneers tomorrow from a dentist here in um Nashville, but I have to show up to this dentist office and I have to measure his whole face for a fake beard, a custom made fake beard that Ashley will order, you know, several of, and she has to glue it on his face every day and she just can't come out here. She has a little daughter and she's already working eight long weeks on this film. 
And look how pretty that is. That's the Demi NR. That's all it is. Good old Demi NR. Let's do a little Demi NR on our nose. So how cool is that? I get to meet Ben Foster tomorrow. And I get to I get to measure his face. Isn't that wild? So maybe next week when I come back, because I have a I have a really I think I think I have a really, really exciting. Oh my gosh, she's tearing something up. I think I have a really exciting saint video next week, and I'll tell you about it at the end, okay? But I'll try to remember to tell you about Ben Foster, or you could definitely ask me about it in um, comments. I'm going to do a little NR under the eyes too. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I didn't even look at candlelit close up. I hope I did it right. Okay, it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. I need to dermaplane my face too next before next week before I do um, the Big Saint Conference. Hey, here's another thing. There is an up and coming. There is an up and coming country music star here in Nashville. I'm doing her makeup next week. She is adorable. Her name is Brooke Halla. I'm doing her makeup for her album cover. She's really pretty, kind of looks like, you know, another Carrie Underwood and they don't look alike, like they don't look like they are related, but that it's that whole, you know, beautiful blonde, blonde country singer. But this girl, Brooke, her lyrics are so good. And to me, I think that's the hardest part of music is, you know, coming up with interesting lyrics and things that are catchy you know you need catchy music she's catchy I'm like wow wouldn't that be amazing if she made it big 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 and I was her personal makeup artist I would love that I don't want to travel all over the world though I mean I guess if she did like a tour around the country I think that could be maybe fun to work with her, but we'll just see where it all goes. You know, who knows? I let God open and close all the doors. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of black up here. So we have candlelit all over. We have Demi. I'm gonna do a little bit of this gorgeous NV plus one smoked up here because it doesn't look like eyeliner and it doesn't look like eyeshadow either. It just looks like a natural shadow. I just love it. I think I've had this NV plus one for two and a half years. You know, products that don't have water in them don't go bad. So even with our um, even with our highlight foundations or demi, there's no there's no water, and water is what makes things expire and go bad when the preservatives run out and they just can't protect the product any longer. But yeah, I've had this demi for probably two and a half years, and look how much is left, like a ton, because you don't use much. Do you see how I just like, just made my eyes look a little smoky? That's it, we're just going for super soft and natural because we're just testing out, um, we're just testing out um, Morita's thing, uh, her tip. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little, little R5, which you know is my favorite blush we make. It's not a blush even, but it's a blush to me. R5 Demi, the cutest, cutest pink on the planet. Um, if you like a cooler pink, get VR5. Otherwise, get R5. 
Also, it looks like a postage stamp. You'll have it for probably six months to a year. It's only $22. You have to have the shape brush though. If you put it on with a regular brush that's dense, it's gonna put it on too blotchy. You need this little soft, fluffy brush to put it on really, really soft and pretty. And then, you know what I'm gonna show you too? I'm gonna show you this other blush. I'm a, I'm just, I hate to use the word obsessed. Influencers, influencers have ruined that world. This is Troy Surratt. He's a famous makeup artist. It is such a pretty blush because it's a light pink, but it has a shimmer. So it's like a blush and highlighter in one. Look at that. And yes, you can mix Saint with anything on the planet. And look how flat this is. Unfortunately, it's not magnetic, but look how nice and flat that is. That'd, that'd be easy to travel with, you know, if you wanted to just bring a little extra, extra. And by the way, I traveled three big trips with this in May and June, and these just travel like a dream. Now, next week I'm driving to Atlanta, so I don't have to get on a plane, but they're just so easy to travel with. It's just ridiculous. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm going to do a little strip down. So yeah, I got a lot going on, huh? I'm measuring Ben Foster's face. They're paying me a nice amount to do it too. I would do it free for Ashley. She's my dear friend, but they're gonna pay me. Um, and then I have the little country music star next week, little Brooke. Then I have my big saint event next week in Atlanta. Just, that's the R5 on my lips too, but then watch what I do is I put on You know diamonds are forever Prettiest lip balm in the world It's a sheer It's a sheer warm pink Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, hold on. Y'all, this Sarah Creel, I just did a video on her new beauty brand. It's for mature women. She's mature, she's in her 50s. This is the best tubing mascara I've ever used because it's volumizing. I love the Kelly Ray one. This has slowly become one of my favorites, but then Sarah Creel slipped in and she explained why volumizing doesn't work on mature women and how she made a volumizing tubing mascara to work for mature women. And it is just, it's just so beautiful. And I love the packaging. It's expensive though. Okay, my face is on. Oh, we didn't do bronzer. Who am I? Gotta do Bella bronzer. <sighs> One thing I also want to say is I received a couple of emails. I don't, you know, I don't check. I take Sundays off. I have to for my sanity. And also it's good for me to completely be off social media on Sundays, just completely off. Um, so, I think I got a couple emails either Monday or Sunday, I'm not sure, but a couple gals have asked for prayer. Uh, I'm not going to say names because, you know, I, I they didn't give me permission to talk about it. And um, you won't know who they are, but they're part of our Look Good Close-Up Club. And one gal is getting a double mastectomy. So if you guys, if my prayer warriors on this club, in this club here, 
If you're a prayer warrior, if you enjoy praying for people, will you please keep her um, on in your prayers? You know, you could just call her our saint sister. These came to my saint email, so that's how I know they're saint clients. Um, but if you could just keep our saint sister, God, know, God knows her name. Um, she's having a double mastectomy. Would you just pray for healing and that the the doctors would do a great job and that God would bless the, the work of their hands and that she will come through with flying colors, okay? So that is one. Another one is a gal who is um, having a really, really, really tough time with her family. I can't get into specifics. Again, she didn't tell me I could share um, and I would never give her name because there are some details that are quite serious. But this gal is a saint sister. She's part of our Look Good Close Up Club. And she fears her family might be soon falling apart, her little family. And so I am asking for prayers for her. Again, doesn't matter her name. She's a saint sister. Prayers for her family, for her, for her husband, for her daughter. Um, that would mean the world to me. I know that there are many of you out there who believe in the power of prayer and um, she needs it. She's quite desperate. Okay, so here we go. We have the whole face on. I feel really good. I might need to do a little bit of... Sometimes I have to just blend that little area out. Okay, that feels good to me. Here we go. We are going to take a lot of setting spray. I haven't powdered yet, so hang on. We're going to powder in a minute, but here we go. I went a little heavier through the T-zone. See how wet I am? I mean, not wet, but see how damp? I'm damp. My hair is damp, so be careful of your hair. That's why I really enjoy doing makeup before my hair. I mean, sometimes I'll style my hair before I do a video, but I always know I'm gonna use setting spray, I'm gonna use powder. Okay, there we go. Now, I am also, Marita didn't tell me if she used powder, but I'm gonna use some powder and I am going to use the Vanilla Dusting Powder by Saint. It's quite good and it's what Kara created to be used with Saint. So you figure, well, if Sarah, if Sarah created, or Sarah, if Kara created this for Saint, probably it works really well with Saint. And I would say, yes, it does. See how I'm doing the outside of my face? It's just so my hair doesn't stick to me. It's especially because I'm going to be taking little Mr. Man on a walk soon. I'm going on a walk? Yeah, you heard that. Okay. The reason I like to powder afterwards, and if you forget, it's okay. Just give yourself time, though. Like, you don't ever want to put setting spray on freshly powdered face because the the spray mixed with fresh powder, which is dry and this is wet, can make it pasty, blotchy, not pretty, okay? So you either have to wait five, 10 minutes for that powder to warm up to your skin and then this can like help blend it in or use this first. Once this is fully, fully, fully dry, then go in strategically where you need powder for to blur pores. Powder powder is really meant to set your makeup, but we set it before and after makeup with setting spray. And also powder is used to blur pores. So anywhere you have pores that are a little bit more visible, that's what you need powder for, okay? So here is my just natural everyday look. I'm super happy with how this came out. I will be back in seven or eight hours and we will see if it held up. I'm gonna go take him on a walk. It's about mm, high 80s outside right now. Okay, it has been 
I don't know, close to eight hours. I mean, you can see it's nighttime. Um, looks great on camera, doesn't it? Looks really, really great on camera. I did put my lips on just because it looked so unfinished without lips. So I just put on, it's just a lip balm, Ula Hendrickson lip balm with a natural liner. And you can see my eyes, I, I made them like dark and smoky. I had to do a TikTok where I showed how if you're gonna do a light concealer lip, you need kind of a deeper eye makeup and a deeper color. You can see I also changed my t-shirt. My original t-shirt I wore today is down here on the floor. Um, but I did this beautiful Charlotte, I'm not sorry, not Charlotte Tilbury, um, Laura Mercier caviar stick in the smoky navy. So that's what's on my eyes. So that's why I look different from my earlier video, but same day. I'm kind of burning up, quite honestly. Um, I think I'm gonna go take a shower. Um, I took Tate on a walk right after I ended the last segment and it was high 80s and we went out for about 30 minutes. I came back a little schwitzy. I cooked dinner. I can get a little schwitzy cooking dinner. I don't know about you. So let's see how it looks in a close-up magnification mirror, okay? So it's worn off a little bit around my nose, but that's the Demi. And I think that's pretty normal. Most of us get wore off around the nose. Um, under eyes look great, even though I didn't use Aquaphor. I see a little tiny bit of peach Demi settling into a few little creases, but nothing that looks terrible. I don't think anyone in my face would be able to see that. It's just because this is a 10 time magnification mirror. My forehead looks like I just put my makeup on. So my forehead looks exactly as it did eight hours ago. My cheeks looks the same. I would say maybe my jawline could have worn off a tiny bit, but that's because I do this a lot. Or if I'm on my computer, I'm like this. So I'm touching my face here and here. But for the most part, it does look very good. I can still see a little bit of makeup, even though it looks like skin. My cheeks look great. Everything stayed on really well there. So yeah, I mean, I would say try this technique and see how it works for you. Like I said up before, I really don't have problems keeping Saint makeup on. It stays on really well for me, but I'm also not really scrutinizing it at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I'm not taking a 10 time magnification mirror and looking at my makeup. So does this method work? I would say probably, but if you have trouble keeping Saint on, I would love for you to try this and then let me know how it worked for you. Because again, I I don't really think I have trouble keeping Saint on. You know, like I said, a, a little bit can wear off around the nose and obviously your lips wear off and it's nice to kind of touch up after you eat. Um, but I like this. I like this method. I would definitely do this for a special occasion. And um, I think I even have a big wedding coming up at the end of October. It's, I'm sorry, it's not a big wedding. It's a big wedding, but I'm only doing the bride and the mother of the bride. Um, but I'm gonna do this trick on them just to give it more staying power because that's how much I believe in this um, technique, okay? So let me know if you try it, I'd love to hear. Um, let me just say that I, I love you all and God loves you. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so honored when anyone reaches out and asks for prayer. Um, it means a lot. It means a lot to me. So let me end with a blessing. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious to thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and bring thee peace. See you Saturday.